from the BBC, the biggest douche of the universe. The Steve and Alan Show. More protests and violence over the weekend as Belfast City Hall flag Roy continues. Last week there were attacks in the homes of Alliance Party reps and on Friday we spoke to the Alliance MP Naomi Long who had received a death threat. I brought this story um, in, into the phone-in uh, on, on the network, and I was asking people around the rest of the UK if they actually cared uh, about the union flag uh, issue in Northern Ireland. Have a listen to what the former cabinet member, Edwina Curry, and the former editor of The Mirror, David Banks, had to say. Firstly, Edwina told me about the damage this could cause to brand Northern Ireland. Well, it's not just brand Northern Ireland. Um, you know, if you look online at some of the pictures, which, of course, get uh, printed all over the world, uh, you've got hoodies in, in Belfast wrapping themselves in the Union flag, but hiding their faces, masks, got their hoods up. And you think, uh, you know, do I want to be associated with that? Is that my Britain? Is that my United Kingdom? No, it isn't. Um, I, think they're, I think they're mad. I, it just strikes me as bizarre. You know, the most important thing about Northern Ireland is the need to, to cut unemployment, to get business moving again. But identity is so important to people. Yeah, uh, and so, in so is Ireland. poverty, and so is ignorance, and so is cruelty, and so is hatred. Do you think people That's in any other. The image of do you think people Ireland in any other want? part of the United Kingdom would tolerate not being able to fly the flag of their country? I don't think we'd notice. I don't think we'd notice. I don't know whether my town hall flies the flag. I don't really care. I don't know whether the police station does. Well, you might not know if it does, David, but if you were told that it couldn't, if you were told it was banned most of the year, you'd care, would you not? No, no, look, Stephen, the rest, let me tell you, let me assure um, uh, Northern Ireland that the rest of uh, of, of, of the United Kingdom looks at this with mystified bafflement. It's like a throwback to the 19th mm. or 18th century. It, 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 it just doesn't make any sense. The more important qualities about being about being British, more important qualities about being in the United Kingdom, mm. uh, it, 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 it's not hoodies in, wrapped in the Union no. Jack. And uh, some of what is said, the UDA leader said something about, in, the truth is this is a grassroots spontaneous movement, not in hoodies with masks, it isn't. To be fair, there, there are also people who aren't in hoodies, who are not in masks, uh, who are either politicians who are, or are ordinary decent people who have come to those protests to peacefully protest, to say, hold on a second, they're British, they're proud to be British, and all they want to do is is is, is recognise the flag right. of their country. Then they should recognise that one of the most important qualities about being British is tolerance. And actually accepting that we all rub along together. I tell you what, most of the rest of the United Kingdom is a great deal more mixed than Northern Ireland is. And we all rub along together and we make a virtue of that. I bet the Queen doesn't think too much of people prancing around with the Union Jack around them and their faces masked saying, you know, we are the we are all supporters of the United Kingdom. That's not that that's not the start. But moreover, if you put your hand in your pocket in Northern Ireland and the and the province put all this behind it and was welcoming to business and became a normal part of the United Kingdom, as normal as as, as Bournemouth or Bristol or wherever, there'd be more coins in their pocket. Yeah. It's absolutely crackers. <laughs> it's putting po- it's putting politics above any kind of welfare, above any kind of prosperity. It's putting the past above the future, and that is so stupid. The First Minister of Northern Ireland, Peter Robinson, has tweeted, actually, that there were over 15,000 responses to the consultation before the vote at Belfast uh, City Council, and he points out that over 90% were in favour of no change, David. It's called democracy. Listen, I'm sitting here for this programme with a spread of, of mainland national newspapers, uh, British, UK newspapers. Nowhere, on no front page, not a single word about Northern Ireland. Yeah, That's right. how important yep. it is. That's how important it is to the rest of, of well, the United Kingdom. Uh, yeah, but David, should that be right? I, I, well, it's neither, it's neither right nor wrong. It's the judgment of the majority of the people of the United Kingdom. But for those we people, but for those, well, that, well, I'd, well rather, when I'd, you, rather, I'd you, rather Northern Ireland, if it felt this passionately on both sides, I'd rather they had their own bloody flag and didn't fly our flag well, because it's embarrassing. 
Well, do you know what? You're being deeply offensive now to people in Northern Ireland, for those I, in Northern Ireland who view themselves as much a British citizen as you do. But I think, and, you, and you're telling them they should have their own flag, and you don't give a damn about people in Northern Stephen, Ireland. I think I'm being deliberately offensive because I'm offended that this goes on in my name. You know, the chances of me coming back to Northern Ireland. I really enjoyed a, a recent visit to Northern Ireland, and I thought this is the and it was the first time I've been either side of. Ireland. I think it'll be a long time before I come back Why? if I'm going to bump into hoodies in the streets. Well, you're not going to bump you know, into hoodies in the streets. Stop painting the country that, that you know, you're, you know David, radio. you're painting the country that I live in. I live in this country four days a week. I live in Northern Ireland. I was born there. It is yeah. not a country full of hoodies. It is not a country full that's of not, thugs. That's, that's not I see, what I see on the television news. You understand the news agenda, David. You yeah. understand that, 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 that these protests are not every day of the Can week. I, and I'll tell you what, I'm it, sometimes more frightened, America, you know, walking through travel. London in the dead of night than, than I would be walking through Belfast. Do not depict Northern Ireland as this hellhole. It is not the case. Right. Hello, can I, I watch can, the BBC uh, and ITV News, and it's on there every night. You can watch what you like. Progress. I live there. Yeah, but Stephen, I lived in America, and I watched both sides carrying the can around, filling them with dollars to kill British soldiers. And I was horrified there, and I'm horrified now that it all seems to be kicking off again. Don't do it in our name. Don't do it in the name of the United Kingdom. I don't care how offensive that is to people in Northern Ireland. Please, for God's sake, pull yourselves together. The vast and majority of people in Northern Ireland uh, abhor that violence. They, they detest that violence. You know, the three parties had a, an open vote. And now there are death threats being issued against members of a party which took part in a democratic vote. This was democracy in action. Now, if you don't like it, get out there in your numbers and vote and vote down the next proposal. Bring the flag back if that's what you want. But for God's sake, not not with hoods and masks and, and rioting in the streets and and and. and Decent policemen being injured in the, in the in the process of trying to keep the peace. You can let me know what you uh, think of that. that. That's at least some of the perspective of what I was dealing with over the weekend. There's the perspective from an English man. Uh, as he looks at the news footage, there's some of the damage that's done. We've heard the Belfast Chamber of, of Commerce say this morning, three million pounds lost over the week uh, over the, 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 the trouble. Sarah in Castle Derg. Morning to you, Sarah. Good morning, Stephen. Like, listen to that. Listen to the I impact this is having on, on our Northern Ireland, on yes. our wee country, yes. the country yes. we love, no matter and what persuasion you're from. I am proud of the Union Jack. 